Hey everybody, Superfluous J here with another Factorio for Beginners. And uh, we've got our, uh, what what you could call a mall here set up. Um, the, the, you may have heard the term mall used before. If you have, this is kind of the idea of it is, uh, the entire purpose of this thing is to get stuff for me to go here to the mall and I can go shopping and pick up whatever I want. And uh, those items then get placed in chests and, and then I, I take them and I move along. Um, this isn't the epitome of efficiency. The a lot of times you're going to have these machines down here are starved for for um, resources because these ones are taking them all. That's okay though because most of the time I'm not even around here. I'm down somewhere else doing work, and these are just running and, and chugging along and filling up with items. So we can just let this go and worry about it later as we uh, as we go about our business and do other things. Um, speaking of business, um, a couple things of old business that uh, that I'd like to bring up. Um, one is this toolbar. I, I put these in here last episode and then immediately decided that I didn't want to talk about it, so I just ignored the fact that I, uh, that I put them here. But th this here is a toolbar. It's not inventory per se, but it is... Um, you can take things out of here just like you can take things out of your inventory. Um, but notice that it says I have 90 belts, and it says down here I also have 90 belts. That's because this is just a very quick way to grab belts and then use them, where I don't have to uh, I, I don't have to hit E and search for them in here or find one on the ground and hit the letter Q to bring it up. Um, and it, it, it's nice because it, it lets you it lets you sort of customize things. And also instead of clicking this, I can just hit the number one. And the number one is always going to grab you the first thing here. This is two, three, four, five. I believe these are shift. I don't know that for a fact. Let's find out. <laughs> uh, if I put coal in there, if I hit shift one, nope, alt one, nope, control one. Nope, I, okay, I don't know what it is. There, there's some way to, to do these. I, I don't, oh wait, there we go. Um, nope, it actually just says the middle mouse button to clear the shortcut. So I, I don't know how you grab these. I never do it. That's why I don't know. Um, I just use these as, as more things I can click on down here. But I like to set my, uh, I like to set my toolbar up in a very specific way. And that is, I like to have the belts and the and the uh, the two arms I tend to use right here. And then I also like to put these in here. And I don't have any in my hand right now, so I'm going to put power poles there. These are the things that you use while you're constructing a lot. Um, also, boxes are probably a good idea as well. If I could, uh, there we go. Um, that way they're, they're just available and they're ready to go as soon as, as soon as I want them. Um, the, the rest of this stuff, uh, not necessarily needed. And I hit the alt key, so it took away all my things. So I just hit alt again to bring it up. Um, okay. That, that being said, oh, we're out of coal down here. We definitely need to fix this up. <laughs> um, so, so that's, that's, that's the old business though. That's that's the only thing I, that I uh, that I forgot to, uh, to to bring up last time. So today, what we want to do here is we want to stop this malarkey over here, where we're where we're mining directly into um, furnaces and then sending it up here. We want to mine, send it into furnaces, and then have those furnaces then send things elsewhere. We also, before we do anything else, we want to get rid of this. As nice as it, as it is to, to generate lots of coal, and look at all this coal now, now that's in my inventory, it's still kind of a pain because it doesn't um, it doesn't let us uh, automate coal production. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to do something special here. We have six of these, so I'm going to make six burner inserters. And what we're going to do here is we're going to set up an array of these things that that self feed themselves. <laughs> And I can't put, remember, you can't put any on uh, ground that you've never been on before. So I'm just bringing this across here, and I don't think, yeah, this is moderately convenient, although there's stuff here. So I kind of want to do this. Yeah, there's <laughs> that, there's only one thing that can go there. That's That's amusing. I like everything to be in a line is what I'm doing here. There we go. There's there's those, and we'll just deal with that as it is. Now this guy's going to uh, gonna mine and send things out where this arrow is. So if we send a belt like this, and then we have belts here and here, he's going to send things out on this belt and then along, and they're all going to send it out to the same belt. Now if I take these, uh, excuse me, I have gum in my mouth. <laughs> I just realized probably bad form. <laughs> if I if I put burner inserters here, here, and here. 
and then put coal into this guy. Just I'm going to put one piece of coal into him. He's going to spit out a coal here, and it's going to go up, and that burnisher is going to grab it, put it in itself. Then he's going to spit out another piece of coal. Burnisher is going to do the same thing. Then he's going to spit out another piece of coal. The burnisher is going to put it into him. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to spit out another piece of coal that the burner is going to put into him. And then I believe this next piece of coal is going to head out. Oh, no, burner is going to take that one, too. And then finally, geez, how many does he want? I, maybe he maybe he wants four. I'm not sure. Eventually, though, this will catch up and because he's he's filling up faster than he needs it. I don't know how many pieces of coal he wants. Maybe it's five. There we go. Then he's going to let him go. And then he, this guy's going to do the exact same thing, which is going to put coal into him and, and have him burning. Then eventually we're going to uh, we're going to generate enough coal that these guys are going to start actually um, putting coal out on this line. And I'm doing this here, very special here. I want to leave another space so I can fit these in. And then basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to eventually fill up this whole patch with these. And then when they're completely run out, I just shift everything down one. And then that'll take care of these lines. So you're going to, we're going to end up with like zebra stripe of these two, these two lines here have coal in them. And then these ones don't because these miners are going to pull the coal out of the ground. But for now, we're just going to have these six. We'll eventually have more. See, we're already sending coal down because this this goes exponentially too. Because like now we have two of them running, then we have three of them running, etc., etc., etc. So put some put a piece of coal in him. Now he's going to start sending out this way, and then what we can do here is we can send these up this way, and now we have a line of coal heading out. And what we're going to do with this line of coal is we're going to run it up here, and we're going to run it up in a very specific place, and that's right here and I just noticed we're out of speaking of coal <laughs> we're out of coal now I could have thrown the coal in the in the box and I'm going to do that right now but oops I went went down too far on this this is about where we want to be we want to run this coal this way oops and we're out of belts but guess what we have a box full of belts down here in the mall. And notice while I was up there middle around, we were actually filling up boxes with things, which is nice. So I'm just going to grab all the belts out of here. Sadly, there's only 27 of them. <laughs> will that be enough? Yes, it will. Okay, we got what we wanted. And I could probably take these belts too. These were, these were uh, what do you call them, spacers, just to kind of show you. I might as well have them for myself here for the time being. Okay, so we're mining, we're mining coal, and now we, of course, we have these things, and these things are are quickly running out <laughs> of of coal, and I think I'm actually just gonna pick these up. There's, I uh, might as well take him as well. This is this was temporary, and I'm sick of looking at it. Of course, that means that, uh, let's see, he, oh, he's run out, so no big deal with that. Let's go ahead and toss these in there just so, so he runs. Now, um, we're done using, uh, using these uh, burner mining drills. We're going to start using electric mining drills, which are far more expensive than the burner mining drills, uh, but they do a much better job. So I'm going to make like, uh, let's make six of them right now. And I'm queuing up one at a time so I can place one down as quickly as possible. And here's the burner mining drill. Now, notice like the power pole, it has a little area around it. Now, this, this mining drill did not have that area around it because it only mines the four squares under itself. This guy, however, mines not only the nine squares under itself, but the, the whatever uh, <laughs> bigger area, 25 total squares around itself. So I guess 16 <laughs> that, are, that are in... In, in the area around it. So it actually has a much wider range. Um, a lot of people like to set these things down very specifically so that they so that they perfectly only cover their own space and it kind of spreads them out and it lets let's say uh, it lets a, a ore patch last longer. I don't actually want that. I don't want this ore patch to last longer. I want this ore patch to um, get used up as quickly as possible. 
And I kind of want this to get used up as quickly as possible, so I'm going to take it away now. <laughs> We're not making any more iron. Uh, so what I want to do here is I want to set these guys up so that they are, and I'm just going to put it like this, and then this is kind of the limit. If I go any bit farther, see on the right here it says that if, if he's here, he's going to mine up eventually 1.7 thousand um, or pieces of, of iron. If I move it over one, it's now on both of these, and it's gonna it's gonna spit out ore and or sorry iron ore and copper ore, which we really don't really want. And the limit of the copper ore is right here, so this is a good place to, to set our line. And I'm gonna move it up one so it so it covers this little patch right here as well. And we notice we can't put a guy here, but I want it to be this amount of space. So I want to come over so it's exactly right here. The reason I want to do that is because I'm also gonna put one here and then one here, and I don't want this guy to go on that. So I, I literally the game just won't let me put this here because there's no ore there. And because I made five instead of six, I thought I made six, but apparently I only made five. Um, I'm going to want them uh, kind of spaced out like that so that, uh, there we go, so that we're, we're, we're doing both sides of the, of the belt. Oh, got to get this guy too. There we go. You can run this belt up like this and then like this. Now... I suddenly realized a problem here. <laughs> um, I don't want ore going up this way. I want, um, I want plates going up this way. So we're going to need to smelt our plates, and probably a good place to do that is going to be over here. Um, we don't want it to be up here because we're going to have our steam furnaces or our, our steam engines going off this way um and we don't want it on one of these ore patches and we don't want it up here over here it would work but it's a little bit farther away from this and eventually i think we're going to be running our bus south on the map so i think putting our smelting here is perfectly fine so uh let's go ahead and break this And we definitely don't want to go over this this patch here, and I think I'm going to pick these up too, because if we don't need if we don't need uh, iron production at the moment, we definitely don't need copper production at the moment. And this is uh, yet another one of those instances where we are um, we're, we're we're mixing up or changing the way the factory works. And I think I'm going to mill. Uh, let's let's just make two more for copper because we don't need as much copper right now as we need anything else. And I'm only making these so that I can uh, get a feel for where uh, where these are going to be. And this is the highest it has to be. And much like the much like the iron, we want the copper to not bleed over. And we're going to have some trouble down here, and we'll have to we'll have to handle that. And I'll, I'll show you that in a minute. But I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna put the copper like this. This this seems like a fair place to do it. And we can go down to here. So how does this look if we do this and this? And then this, and this, and then this, and then this. That's actually perfect. So that, that worked out quite well. Um, I'm just planning ahead right now. Um, and I actually, I think I want these guys. I want to start these guys up here. So I'm going to do this, and I'm going to clear these, and then we'll just we'll use this as our, as our guideline template. So copper is going to head off this way. Therefore, iron... I think we're going to just head it off. We can just put it right like this because we're not going to be putting anything up above that. So that's the way copper's going. That's the way iron's going. Um, we're going to need to run power to these guys. So we might as well do it now so they can get started. And you can also then see how they're going to run. And, uh, oh, another thing I forgot. Uh, this is a trick. Now, I don't know if you noticed what I just did here. Let me let me show it to you again. Um if you uh, you can plop down belts over other belts uh, to replace them, so I can I can plop this underground here under here, and then it also it automatically flips it for you so that that the output is right here, um, and then when I click over here, it's going to erase all the belts in between. So now what's happening is the ore is going to go underground, come back up here, and then go this way, and these guys all the arrows are still pointing at a belt, so all of this is going to go here. And the reason I did this is so that I can put a of course, the power pole doesn't quite reach, but okay, there we go. So I can put a power pole in here, and then he's going to uh, he's going to be able to power all four of these guys. Uh, if I didn't do that, I would have to put a power pole power pole up here and a power pole down here. And I I won't eventually want to be putting miners down here, so I don't have room for a power pole. This allows me to pack these in as much as possible because I want to get rid of this this 
iron patch as quickly as possible so we move on to producing iron in other places not only to uh so that it explains it to you better uh and and you can see it faster but also because i want to uh i, I want to get rid of this so that we can put train stations in here um uh because we're going to need a lot more iron than is in this patch and a lot more coal than is in this patch so we've got these going um uh miners also use up a lot of power but we're, we're fine on power at the moment so now we want to smelt this stuff, and we want this to be far enough away from these patches that we're, we're not going to be uh, encroaching on our miners. So I think here is fine. And what we're going to want to do here is, as before, remember I was manually putting coal into these, into these um, smelters. We're, we don't want to do that anymore. We want, to, uh, we want the smelters to run on their own. So what we're going to do here is we're going to have a, a line and do like we did up here with the... Um, with the uh, what am I saying here? The 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 gears and the the circuits, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to have copper. I'm sorry, iron on for this one. Iron on one side and um, coal on the other side, so that so that the arms that we put here can feed directly into furnaces, and then it'll just grab whatever it needs. And it, if it needs coal, it'll grab coal. If it needs iron it'll grab iron and then the other one will only take the iron out and then put it into whoops a belt like this and then we can do that on the other side notice i hit one here to, to, to grab the belt and then now if we if we run a thing of iron and a thing of coal down here on each side then it'll spit out iron plates down the middle so <laughs> there are several ways to do that. Um, one of the ways, the, the, the way I like, it's kind of a trick here and it's a little bit hard to, to explain without seeing it. So I'm going to set it up and then I'll explain it when it's done. And we need more belts of which we're going to run out of because we're, uh, we took everything. I'm going to, I'm going to stuff iron plates in these three guys just so, so they keep running. And I think I'm going to stuff iron plates in these gears. So they keep running, and I'll stuff some copper, although we have plenty into here, and I guess I'm out. So that's it. And that was another stealth edit that I, I don't even know how to how to call that one a stealth edit, because <laughs> it's not. But anyway, um, moving on here. We want to we wanna make this array here, and oh, that's right, we're out of uh, belts. Let's go ahead and not reach these. There we go. Now we got enough belts to, to do this part. Uh, what we want to do here is we want to put these in here and then what they're going to do is they're going to put the the splitter is going to split obviously uh the belts onto both sides and then if we send some this way and some this way now one side of this belt has iron ore on it which is what we want right now the other side of the belt we want to have coal so we need to run coal down here and uh this is where a little bit of spaghetti but not too bad is going to happen we are going to um Let's see, what's the best way to do this? I think we can get rid of this here. <clears throat> and we can put a splitter here and run a coal down this way. And I think we can be a little cavalier about it. Uh, looks like we need some underground belts. Let's run up here and grab those. 22 that should be plenty and also it tells me down here how many I have and it tells me that I'm almost out of <laughs> regular belts again so let's take 42 more we're basically out of uh, raw resources now so we're, we're in a little bit of a trouble a little bit of a trouble uh how do I want to do this I think I, I don't want to put the undergrounds there I think I want to run these underground and these underground and then run this this way and yeah, I'm going to put it here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this underground under here. Then I'm going to put another splitter. <laughs> and then I'm going to do that. And then what I've got now is I've got coal on one side, iron on the other side. And then what I can do here is I can go like this, and this, and this, and then this. And now the coal is running this way, so I can basically make an exact duplicate of this over here for another smelting array. That's the, that's the goal. Um, and then all I need now is uh, some power poles, which we are completely out of, which is bad. Uh, and we don't have any in spare. 
Uh, I guess we technically don't need this one, or this one, or this one. I guess we do need that one. <laughs> we'll put that there. But uh, we need a lot more than that. So let's go down here and chop down some more trees. And let's actually chop down the trees that are going to be in our way here. That's nice and quiet far away from the base, isn't it? Just out here like a like a woodsman. A lumberjack, if you will. Being okay. Working all night. Sleeping all day. Or working all day, sleeping all night, whatever, I don't know the words. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just grab all the copper so we can make... About 20 of those should be fine. And let's bring them down here like this. And then we'll put one here. And then we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do a lot of electric poles. But I think what we're gonna do here is a little trick I like to do. Now these are running. Note they're already they're already making plates, which is awesome. Uh, what we want to do here is if we put the if we put the smelters like this, and we'll make eight of them for, for the time being. And then we run arms like this. Doesn't really matter exactly how we put them on. And then we can run power poles every other one. And then that powers everything. With four power poles powering all this, that's pretty good. Then we run our belts down like this. And then boom, we've got iron being, uh, being made in abundance, which is nice. Now what we can do here is we can wrap this iron around and then bring it back up this way. And of course we now have, <laughs> we're having some underground problems, but what are you gonna do? And obviously we're out of belts right now. This is the copper line. I think we can sacrifice this for the moment. to get this iron line going, and we can run it right to here. And clear those ghosts. Now we need enough belt to uh, to cover those ghosts, and we might have, I don't think we have enough here. I'm just drawing over the ghosts with the belts that I just picked up, and I don't have enough. And I haven't made any, because I'm out of, uh, I'm out of iron plates. So let me grab all these iron plates here. Stuff them in here. And now this guy is going to start making belts, which is nice. And then I'm going to run down here and grab all these. I'm holding down F, as I did before, to grab all these plates off this belt. And then I can stuff them in here, too. And probably in these guys as well. I'm going to put half in one. Oh, well, put them all in one. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter. There's plenty on the belt anyway. 70 transport belts should be enough to, to finish this off. And then that'll that'll get this thing going again, which is nice. There we go. We've got our we've got our iron is no longer uh, not being made anymore, which is good. Now I've got a bunch of iron in my inventory. I'm gonna just put half of it in, and then the rest of it in these. It just doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be equal. I'm just getting it out of my inventory. Uh, and that's it for now. Um, I've, I've probably, yeah, I've gone over 20 minutes total, I think. Um, so I'm trying to keep these at 20 minutes, although who knows how long they'll, they'll be generally. Uh, next episode, I'm going to do the same thing with copper. Um, and then we're going to, uh, we're going to start talking about, um, possibly, uh, researching something. And I think we should probably research, uh, probably optics and turrets next episode. Um, so we actually have to also talk about getting research back up and running because right now it's stalled out because, uh, not only do we not have any research going on, but we don't have any iron in this box anyway. And I would kind of like to start doing research, not off to the side and get rid of this entire starter thing and work on our second starter base uh, a little bit more fully. So that's what we're doing next time. I hope you're looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to doing it. I am Superfluous J, and I will, as always, talk at you later.